Developing countries often lack the essential infrastructure to help navigate global shocks like a pandemic. So they feel the impacts more acutely and they have a harder time recovering. In our deeply connected world, that's not just a humanitarian concern, it's an economic and a security concern for all of us. Today, we officially launched the Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment. We collectively have dozens of projects already underway around the globe. And I'm proud to announce the United States will mobilize $200 billion in public and private capital over the next five years for that partnership. We're here today because we're making this commitment together as a G7 in coordination with one another to maximize the impact of our work. Collectively, we aim to mobilize nearly $600 billion from the G7 by 2027. By the United States, together with the G7 partners and the World Bank, are investing in a new industrial-scale vaccine manufacturing facility in Senegal. When complete, we'll have the potential to produce hundreds of millions of doses of vaccine annually for COVID-19 and other diseases. Our economy's future increasingly depends on people's ability to connect to secure information and communications technologies. We need to strengthen the use of trusted technologies so that our online information cannot be used by autocrats to consolidate their power or repress their people. That's why the Digital Invest program is mobilizing $335 million in private capital to supply secure network equipment in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. The United States is committing $50 million over five years to the World Bank Global Child Care Incentive Fund. This public-private partnership, supported by several G7 partners, will help countries build infrastructure that makes it easier for women to participate equally, equally in the labor force. The entire world is feeling the impact of Russia's brutal war in Ukraine and on our energy markets. We need worldwide effort to invest in transformative clean energy projects to ensure that critical infrastructure is resilient to changing climate. I want to be clear, this isn't aid or charity. It's an investment that will deliver returns for everyone, including the American people and the people of all our nations. It will boost all of our economies. And it's a chance for us to share our positive vision for the future, to let communities around the world see themselves and see for themselves the concrete benefits of partnering with democracies. Because when democracies demonstrate what we can do, all that we have to offer, I have no doubt that we'll win the competition every time.